it's nothing new But it's so good to see you We do this every day And I'm still so amazed by you So hold me tight It is currently Thursday, the kids' first day of a fall break. We aren't doing anything, we know, because we literally just got back from our cruise, which was, you know, not the cheapest. So we don't have any plans for a fall break, uh, but I do have some errands to do. I tried to take the kids yesterday to Dollar Tree to get like stuff to make like carved pumpkin or paint a pumpkin. But Ryan wasn't really interested. I brought him and asked him if he wanted to get like carving stuff, stickers, paint and stuff. He had said no, but I don't know. Maddie, put it back. Put it back. Thank you. But maybe when we go to Target today, because I have to go to Target to get Madison pull-ups. Maybe when we go there, um, he'll have a change of heart and want to do like painting pumpkins and stuff. But if he does, that'll be like on our, like I guess, fall list to do. I'll probably pick up some... Maddie, get out of there. She's in my makeup drawer. Um, I'll probably pick up some like fun craft stuff. I tried to look for craft stuff at Dollar Tree yesterday, but there really wasn't much. A lot of the Halloween and fall stuff is all pretty much picked over. There was a ton of like Christmas stuff, but obviously we don't want to do Christmas crafts right now. We want to do fall and Halloween stuff. So um, maybe we can find some fun Halloween and fall crafts to do at home. I also will probably get either stuff to make cookies or cupcakes. Not sure which one. I guess I'll let Ryan choose that. So that'll be like on the agenda for the first day is like making some fun treats possibly a craft like i said the whole reason why i'm going to target is because madison literally only has three pull-ups left so i need to go ahead and grab her that and also i'm completely out of this i want to show you guys this is a um i guess i'll show you guys my kind of like beauty routine i showed you guys recently makeup that i've been using i forgot to share my mascara in that vlog but this is my favorite mascara right now it is by maybelline called the falsies amazing love it but i didn't show like beauty care items so i guess i would do that um i've always had like this weird mindset of like when i do beauty products like i try to stick to like the same line i always feel like if i go all over the place with a bunch of random different products from different lines that it'll make my face break out more but honestly literally everything is from a different line and it's working out for me so i'm gonna keep it like that it took me a while to figure out a good regimen on what works for my skin and what's going to help with the texture, you know, my dark circles, my breakouts, blemishes, all of that. But all that to say, for face wash, I just use Cetaphil. I guess I'll take out the shower to show you guys which one, because I know there's a few different ones, but this is the one that I use on my face. I use this twice a day, morning and night. I'm bedding down because I'm too lazy to go find my tripod stand, but use this morning and night um and then after that only at night time i use this by neutrogena it is a rapid clear treatment pads um it just helps like with blemishes if you guys are prone to breakouts um and it also helps get out get off that extra dirt and makeup that maybe your face wash didn't get off so I use that again only at night um and then for eye cream i've been really liking this it is the Holy Hydration Eye Cream with Hyaluronic Acid and Peptides from e.l.f. So I use that as an eye cream. Then after that, I go in with my serum. So I've been using this Snail Mucin Power Essence Serum. I got it off Amazon and I use this morning and night. The only two products I only use once a day, which is at night, are these two products, just an FYI. But everything else I use both morning and night. Maddie, put it back. Put it back. She's making a huge mess in there. Um, so I use this morning and at night. And then, unfortunately, I cannot use retinol. I'm just, my skin doesn't agree with it. I'm, like, allergic to it. So, like, anytime I use anything with retinol, my whole face breaks out in hives. Um, pretty much my face is, like, burnt. 
when I use it. So I can't use that. So instead I use Hyaluronic Acid Ser Face Serum. This one is by True Skin and has vitamin C and E in it. So I use this morning and night as well. I just get this from Target, but I think Walmart sells this as well. And then um, only at nighttime I use this. This is the Postbiotic Acne Serum by Kind. Um, and again, I only use this at night and it works really well. I'm completely out of it. So that's another thing I need to get from Target. And then for face cream, I do want to, Elf has like a matching face cream, um, the Holy Hydration with like hyaluronic acid in it. And I want to get that, but I'm going to go ahead and finish using this because it's working so far and it's not causing no medicine. No, no, it's not causing any blemishes. Oh my gosh. Come here. She got the mascara with lipstick. <laughs> this clear complexion by Hero. It's been working fine. I like it. Um, but once I'm out of that, I'll probably move on to the e.l.f. one. And then for any time I have blemishes, I usually use the Hero patches. The last time I um, went to Target, they're completely out. So then I found this at Walmart and honestly it works just as good. It's by Rail. I don't know. Rail. Beautiful. Okay. I need to get nice and she's completely getting into my makeup and making a huge mess. So show you guys what she's doing. Maddie, what are you doing? Look at your face. It's not lipstick, ma'am. Hey. Maddie, that's my lipstick. Oh, this was a new mascara that I bought and people were raving about it on TikTok. That is why I got it. This is by Benefit, the Fan Fest. And honestly, I, I don't really like it. It's okay. I guess I gotta play around with it more, but I like my Maybelline better. All right, let's clean your face off and I need to finish getting ready. All right, it is much later. Um, it's pretty much noon, it's 11 at 56. I am making the kids a really quick lunch. I was gonna make eggs but we're out of eggs. I didn't realize we're out of eggs. I guess Robert used it all. All right, this morning is like very chaotic. Madison's like on another level. Like she usually gets into a lot of things, but today she, I don't know what, I think her mission is to destroy the house. I think that's her mission today. Um, so it's it's been a hard morning, but I'm currently making the kids some lunch. It's pretty much known, like I said, uh, I was gonna make scrambled eggs, but I realized we're out of eggs. I guess Robert used all the eggs I ordered the other day and I didn't realize it. So making Ryan a grilled cheese and then we have some cuties that are about to go bad. So I guess I'm just going to peel up those cuties. And then we have a, we're pretty much out of veggies too. I think the only thing we have is like carrot, carrots. So they will have grilled cheese, carrots, and cuties. Madison has keeps on giving me this rice. So she'll have the rice. I did the same two sizes, Ryan, carrots and cuties. Um, and that'll be their lunch. I really don't want to go grocery shopping today because I want to get back home. So I want to do a few things with the kids. Um, so I think I'm going to just try my best and see what I can find in Target. They do have a good small grocery section. So just grab a few things to hold us over until tomorrow until I can do it with a full grocery shop with me or a full grocery haul. Um, so yeah, that is the plan. I honestly, I just want to go to Target and come back home. I don't want to have to go to a million other places. I actually do need stuff at Ryan's doctor's office to pick up some papers I need to fill out. Um, but we have to pass that anyway, so it's fine. So pick up the paperwork and then go to Target, come back, and hopefully do some fun fall Halloween stuff. Ryan's been in like a weird phase. Like I'm trying to like do fun things with him and he doesn't really want to. He wants to be like on his own, do his own thing, which I respect. But, you know, I want to do stuff with him. But we'll see if he wants to do any fun crafts or they have pumpkins at Target. Maybe I can convince him to get a pumpkin and we can, like, paint or carve it. We'll see. Um, and then for lunch for me, I have no clue. I think I'm just going to wrap some lunch meat and cheese because there's nothing really else that I can make unless, like, I full, fully cook up something. And I don't have time for that. This is why I, this is why I need to meal prep for days like this. Because if I had stuff meal prepped, I could just pop it in the microwave and warm it up and eat it. But I don't. I've fallen off the wagon so hard, you guys. Ever since vacation, I have not gotten back into the group of things. Um, Diet-wise, workout-wise, household-wise. Like, I I did clean a lot yesterday. I'm happy with what I got yesterday done. Um, but still, there's just so much more to do around the house. I only worked out one time this week, which is not like me at all. Um, also, I've been eating whatever I want. So yeah, I'm just trying. It's just hard because the 
we got home from vacation and then the first day we got back, Madison wasn't feeling well. And then um, the kids went back to school only for three days and then now it's fall break. And then they go back to school um, next week. They're off on Monday, they go back on Tuesday. And then the following week um, they have half the week is half days because it's parent-teacher conferences. So then I have the parent-teacher conference as well. So it's like trying to get back into a group, trying to get back into a routine. It's hard when your days are thrown off by half days, kids coming home sick, coming home from vacation, parent-teacher conferences, um, just all, all that stuff. So I'm hoping, I think, I just think October is going to be a very chaotic month. I'm just hoping that after the week of the kids half days and parent teacher conferences that we'll be back for normal routine next week I'm gonna try my very best to get back to normal because I need that routine I feel very sluggish I don't feel like myself and I just need to get back into my healthy eating my working out keeping up with the house and all of that so yeah I will just pop on here and share that with you guys but I've been talking for six minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up Ryan's um, sandwich, make Madison's rice, and then we will head to Target, like I said. I'm not sure, like always, I'm not sure if I will vlog while I'm in Target, but we will see. I'll show you guys. I guess I'll share a haul. I did ask you guys if you guys are sick and tired of hauls. I feel like every single vlog I share a haul, but all of you guys are like, no. It's fun sharing. We love the haul. So, whatever I get, I guess I'll show, show you guys what I get. Alright, I'm going to take the sandwich off before it burns. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut up his sandwich, get him his sides, and then make Madison's rice, and then we'll hide to target. There you go, then get one for Sissy. Put a lid on. Mm -hmm. They're the same size. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're slightly larger. Mm -hmm. Neat lid. I'll get Maddie. Look at her at mix. Hopefully I don't do that. Oh my god. That's why you gotta put it like this. Oh, you're smart. I'm gonna have to clean that up now. Oh, oh yours is ready. all watery. It's just not ready. I'm gonna have to get the blue or the red. I gotta clean these up. You want slushy? All right, so we're in the Halloween section. I got Madison a costume from Walmart. It was Wonder Woman, but it's way too small for us. I had to return it, but I found this Wizard of Oz costume, mm. Dorothy, and I think that would be really cute on her. There's some other really cute ones. She's always been a princess, I feel like every year. Um, that's just like her little theme. I really liked the Little Mermaid, but I feel like she would have a hard time walking in that, so I don't wanna get that one. So the Dorothy one's up there, but they have a lot of really cute costumes. A lot of things are already picked over, but I kinda thought this one was cute as well. It's like a swan. But I think I like Dorothy a little better. It comes with like a face mask. Why is my phone not focusing? Um, but she would never wear that. What is that? Rainbow unicorn. Those are toddlers. My phone keeps on going out of focus now. It's driving me crazy. The butterflies are really cute. I thought about the butterfly. Madison's making a mess. I got the kids. Slushies. The butterfly ones are really cute as well. I really want her to be a witch one year. Maybe this year could be the year that she's a witch. I don't know. I'm torn between a, this cute like little witch one or Dorothy. I wish she would wear the hat. She would never wear that in the broom. Really cute. That sucks. What? Skeleton won't shut its yap. Why? Did he turn him on? Look, they have a cute witch one for Sissy too, but... All I do is look at him and he just him. keeps on yapping. Like it comes with, oh, this one comes with a hat. But it sucks because I know Madison would never wear the hat. Maybe she can be a witch next year. Madison, do you want to be Dorothy or a witch? Maybe if I put them both up to her, let me see. And then she can choose. All right, so I'm going to put both of them up to her and see if she points to either of them. Madison, Maddie, look, Madison, over here, look. Look, this one, look. Which one do you like? Madison, which one do you like? She's too into her slushy. Hey, Maddie, you're making a mess. Look, which one do you like? Point to this, which one? Maddie, look. She has, she doesn't care. I was gonna have her point to which one she liked, but she's not pointing, so I guess I'm gonna, maybe I'll ask Ryan and see what he thinks. I just like them both. 
The one from Walmart was cute as well. It was nah. a woman, but um, it was way too small for her. It was like uh, it wasn't tight on her. It was just very mm. very short. Like did not look like a uh, mm. like Wonder Woman dress at all. So I have to bring that back. Um, I just haven't had the time, but we're about to leave. Also, they're completely sold out of my postbiotic face serum that I usually get, which I really love. So I was thinking about trying this one. This one also says it's a prebiotic, um, a gentle, clear, triple action acne serum by Cetaphil since I use their face wash and really like it. But it's just, I don't know if I'm gonna get it because I really like the one that I'm currently using. And I don't wanna switch over to another one and like mess my whole um, face routine because I feel like I'm in a really good face right now with like my breakouts and stuff. So I'm worried that if I bring something new, that's gonna mess up my face. So. I don't know, I'm gonna see if another Target has it in stock, and if it does, maybe pick it up later this week. So I'll probably put that back. I'm not 100% sure, but I think Ryan wants to show me something. What do you want to show me? Okay, uh, come over here. Are you pressing everything? I get you to walk in front of that big pumpkin thing. What big pumpkin thing? That thing. You know, big. Walk in front of it. See what happens. All right. Try me, but. Let's just try me button down here. Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. I'm How much so is that? Is he gonna like jump out at me? Oh, so, oh, so, so you had me press it. You didn't know what it was gonna do. <laughs> I thought he knew what it was gonna do. He had me press it to see what it would do. So he was sacrificing mom to get oh. to get attacked. Anyways, so let's go get Madison's pull ups. I'm gonna get Madison's pull ups and then we're probably gonna head out. Alright, guys, so I kind of forgot that I was vlogging and it's already 4:10. So we're gonna make the cupcakes now. Um, so I already have like the cupcake liner line. I got the eggs, I got the measuring cups. Here, why don't you put mm, one cup of water and half a cup of oil into your eggs? So fill that with water. I need a little bit of help. And then I need to get the oil. I don't know if we have, I haven't used. Oil. I use like olive oil. We don't have enough. Half cup of oil. What kind of oil is this? It's version of olive oil. I don't know if this can turn out. I don't ever use like vegetable oil or any of this. Robert had bought this. And it calls for half a cup. And we are very short on half a cup. With, I don't know. We're going to have to put the virgin olive oil. I think it should be fine. We don't need that much. Um, Thanks, bro. Let me grab. We will see. Ow, you kicked me. <laughs> we will see how this turns out because, like I said, we don't have any more vegetable oil, so I'm going to have to do olive oil. Oh my god. I don't know. I'm not going to fill it all the way up to half. Hopefully that'll work out. I don't want to put too much because I don't know if it's gonna ruin it. But I guess we'll find out when the cupcakes come out. You guys are probably cringing. If you're like a baker, you're probably like cringing right now. But we're gonna make a cupcake. Oh, what do I need to preheat this to? 350. 350, three eggs, water. Okay, I think we're all set. I also want to make the rice crispy treats, but I think I'm gonna have to do that a little bit later because I need to start getting the kids like dinner started as well. Might as well take Madison in the back um, now, so I don't have to worry about it later. So yeah, so that's what I need to do. Okay, so let's put the mix in. I should probably put the camera down so you guys can see what I am doing. So let's put the camera down. And Ryan, he's acting silly in the background. Okay, so here we go. The fake mix. Oh gosh, I'm making a mess. Um, and Ryan picked out green. Why is this shaking so much? Um, Ryan chose green frosting this time. We always get the orange one, but I feel like years before, I've never seen the other colors. I've always only saw orange. This year they had orange, which we usually get. This green one, it comes with like eyeballs and sprinkles. And then the third color was black. And each one had like different, like these had eyeballs, I think. The orange ones had pumpkins, and then the black ones might have had skulls, maybe? I'm not sure, I'm not, not sure. I guess I'm making this alone because Ryan just grabbed a snack and ran off. So 
here's the olive oil and then vegetable oil. So now that's gonna go. And then now I need to add three eggs in it to this. So now I know, Madison, I have a bunch of can Halloween candy hidden up there. Um, Cause we went to Costco not long ago and we got like, I think two large bags of candy for Halloween. So we don't have to worry about it for Halloween. But one, I have dug it into it already. It's like halfway gone. I knew it was a mistake doing that. But the kids now know where it's hiding. And they keep on trying to get to it. Madison's grabbing the shelf now. She keeps on climbing the shelf. Madison, get down. Get down. Hey. I need to find a lock for the door again. Please have a lock sense. in there. Yeah, just don't make a mess. Madison, now. Get her if you climb that. Actually, you can put some chicken nuggets in there for you. For you to have for dinner. I'm gonna have to get into the hiding spot for this because you know where it is. But that's good. I think Ryan's doing a pretty good job over there. Is your arm hurting? A little. I'm just making all this mess. All right, to make it easier, I always, um, is the camera moving? I feel like this is probably about seconds and shaking. I always pour it into a measuring cup since it has that little spout and then it's easier to pour it into the, I think that's good, let me see. Well, he did a pretty good job. Usually I have to go in and like make sure everything is like mixed up, but he did good. It wasn't equal eating today. Once I'm done pouring it into the cupcake, there's always a little bit left, right? Actually, you can take this. I also call this a spatula. Don't let it drip on the floor. Also in the background, if you guys can hear, I have Halloween Town on. I watched Hocus Pocus yesterday while I was cleaning the house. And then today I put on Halloween Town. And I actually, oh, powder's still down there. I wore my Halloween Town sweatshirt yesterday as well. I need to make a new Hocus Pocus sweater for me. It's one from last year. I don't really know what happened to it. That is a lot, all right. Now we're gonna pour it in to the cupcake liners. Let me move this camera. There we go. Now I'm just gonna do it so it doesn't make a mess. Oh god, I think I poured it too hot. Oh. In my napkin. Okay. Oh Jesus. Okay. I definitely poured too much. I usually, now that I remember, I usually only pour a little bit into the measuring cup. But since I poured so much, it's like everywhere. Oh my god. Okay. Madison, what are you doing? Madison's making a mess in the background. I'm definitely not doing this just to get more cake This is a mess. This is a mess. This is a mess. I think I should probably do it with a spoon now. I think I like the ice cream is the best because like you can like give the cupcake size. There's that one that's like overflowing. Oh my Jesus. All right guys, don't follow my suggestions or my rules or how I make cupcakes. Clearly I don't know how to make cupcakes I'm making. A huge mess. I told Ryan, let me do it so there's no mess. But yet, but I'm you're making even more of a mess than I would probably. probably. All right, I need a spoon to scrape the rest out. I need to take some out of that one because that one is. I'll get a paper towel for it. Thanks. All right, oh gosh. I need a couple of paper towels. I need a. Okay, and then just put in these paper towels when you're done. Thanks, my assistant. He's a great assistant. All right, now I need to fix this one because this one is like really overflowing. Oh, okay. All right, I'm going to put this in the oven. Oh, I think that should be good. 
but you can't eat that. Let me get another napkin to clean that up. Done. So let me put this in the oven. Watch out, it's gonna be hot. All right, it's in the oven. And while I tell you guys so you don't forget, might as well show you guys, I went to, like I said, I went to Dollar Tree yesterday with the kids and making this up. Um, oh, the refill that I needed for my makeup is this Maybelline, uh, what's it called? Superstay 24 hour skin tint. And it's literally my holy grail now. I love it. I get it in the color 322. The only complaint I have is it is so messy. Like no matter what you do, after a while, it like oozes out. It's it's annoying, but other than that, I love it. I actually mix this when I want a heavier um, coverage. I use, I think it's called Misha. It's like a BB cream and it has um, SPF in it. I actually wore it all um, the entire time we were in the Bahamas and the SPF actually protected me. Like I did not get burned in my face at all. So when I want a heavier foundation kind of look, more coverage, I use that BB cream with this. But yeah, uh, anyways, from Dollar Tree, random but i needed more pens the kids are always still my hair is crazy um the kids are always stealing my pens and i lost literally all of my pens so i found these it reminded me back when i was young and i used to love like gel pens um so these come with eight and they are gel pens but they're glitter gel pens so we'll use those i actually need an expo marker to write on my monthly calendar on the side of the fridge and then yes i bought this book because i liked the color and i liked the cover it just intrigued me. I did look it up. It didn't have the best reviews. I think it had like 3.8 stars, something like that. Almost four stars, but not quite there. But yeah, I don't know. I read it up and, and it seemed interesting. I think it's about a friend that goes missing and she comes back and she doesn't know what happened and um, she can't explain where she was and she's like super skinny and I don't know. It just... It just looked interesting and like I said, I like the cover. So I grabbed that from Dollar Tree, Dollar 25. So if it ends up sucking, it doesn't matter because it's only a Dollar 25. I'm gonna go ahead and clean all of this up. Like I said, I'm gonna make sure Christmas treats after the kids eat. Oh, I didn't put the air fryer on, so I did. I just threw in for Madison, just doing some chicken nuggets in the air fryer. And then I'm gonna have to figure out what she's gonna have for a side. And then Ryan's going to have pizza. Um, there's only one pizza crust left. Where I would have made one for Maddie as well. Even though Maddie, he yeah, doesn't want pizza crust left. But I feel like anytime I make her the pizza with that pizza crust that we have in there, she never really wants to eat it. She might eat like one or two bites. So there's the plan. But anyways, it's already, like I said, after four. So while cupcakes are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and go take Madison a bath really quickly, bring up her pull-ups. And then once I'm done getting her bathed, I will check the cupcakes and I'll show you guys how they turn out once we're done decorating also. I got Robert these. He usually likes Brookies, um, but he loves the ones from Trader Joe's. And I love Trader Joe's too, but I have not been to Trader Joe's in over a year, probably a year and a half now, because it's so far. It's like almost an hour from me. It's about 45-ish minutes from my house. So I just don't really drive that far. So I have not been there forever, but I don't know if he's ever tried the Publix ones. So I grab him those so he can try. I don't know. Clearly, we're not eating very healthy. Rice Krispie Treats, Brookies, which I don't care for Brookies, so I won't touch them, and cupcakes. And then he's eating pizza, or Ryan's eating pizza. Yeah. What is Matt doing? What are you doing? What do you have? I don't know. Matt's cleaning something up that she spilled, so let me go. Never mind, I thought she had spilled something, but she didn't. She got into, which I need to buy more. I was, there was only a few in here. Focusing. there's only a few in here anyways but I like to carry these wet ones in my purse I also have like the larger one in my car um so there was probably only like three or four left <laughs> she's cleaning the floor with it thank you are you cleaning are you helping mommy clean that's a good job even though I could have used those last few you can clean the floor <laughs> all right let's get back you ready for take a bath night yeah, you have a lot to say today. And you too, Maple. Oh, look. What's that on the floor? Oh, Madison is always throwing Robert's hat on the floor. And then I think it's the Publix receipt. Yeah, my Publix receipt. All right. Get Madison in the bath. Hi, baby. Hi. You're so pretty. All right, let's get that one in the bath. And this one, I need to feed this one too. You hungry? So lucky I won't, I won't. I can't believe you love me. F
her ends Let's be a more than friends Yeah You know I'm here to stay Every single day So I tried on the costume on Madison. So turn around. Can I see? Oh, you look so pretty. So it fits her. So we're going to keep it. Um, I'm going to see if I can get some like blue high socks for her. Um, oh, you're twirling in it. You look so pretty. So she can make Dorothy. So that worked out. I just need to get some red shoes. If I can find some red shoes and blue socks to go with it. Um, and yeah, that'll be her outfits. I got it in size medium. Fits her perfect. It was 25 and then this is the one I got from Walmart that I'm about to return. This one was only $18, $17.97. Like I said, it was Wonder Woman. It came with like that little headpiece and then also the cape. But it was just way too short on her. Like it fit her body wise. Like the top part fit her perfectly. But it was so short. Like it looked like um, it was hers from when she was like a toddler. Because it was so short on her. Like those dresses that turn into like shirts that I keep, um, that's what it pretty much looked like. So I'm gonna have to return this, but I'm glad this one worked out. I just need to get some uh, red shoes and blue socks, but hey, you look so pretty. You ready to take a bath? All right, we're gonna take a bath and then I don't know what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. Still have not painted the wall. All right, I'm gonna get a bath. What is wrong with my hair? Um, I'm out of breath because I just went upstairs. I was about to, Switch over some laundry. I was checking on Ryan's room because I told him to clean it up some more, but, and I also need to switch over laundry, but I'm gonna go ahead and close out this vlog. This is definitely gonna be a day in the life vlog because I'm at like, I think like an hour. I still have to edit it, so it won't be a full hour, but it's still gonna be a pretty long video. My hair, I don't know. I haven't been liking my hair recently. That's why I'm always messing with it. But anyways, um, it's almost, it's about an hour now, but once I edit it down, I'll probably get it down to like 40-ish minutes maybe. So it's going to be a day in the life vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed spending the day with us, our first day fall break. We really didn't do much. We made the cupcakes, um, ran two errands. Then we got back home and we just watched like a lot of like Halloween movies. We watched Halloween Town. We watched... Um, nightmare for christmas so that is what we did today but i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please remember to give my video a thumbs up and also subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you haven't already i would love you to be a part of my youtube family and as always if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for always returning and showing me and my channel all the love i appreciate it so much and i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your thank you i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your morning evening night whenever you're watching this and i will see you guys in the next video